If more than the amount of mercury in a small thermometer or fluorescent light bulb spills, or if a small amount of mercury is tracked through the school, you have a large problem. Do not try to clean up a large mercury spill. That is a job for trained professionals only. Evacuate the area where the spill occurred right away. Get the mercury contact sheet from the spill kit and call the proper authorities, such as the local health department, hazmat team, or the state or federal environmental protection agency for help. If more than one pound of elemental mercury has spilled, that's about two tablespoons. You must call the National Response Center at 1-800-424-8802. Let's hear from a representative of the EPA who is experienced in cleaning up large mercury spills at schools. EPA and or your state or local environmental agency can help you successfully complete a mercury cleanup and achieve the goal of protecting the health of students and school officials and get the school back in full use. It is important to hire contractors that have experience conducting mercury cleanups. If not done properly, the mercury contamination can be spread further, increasing the cost and time needed for the cleanup. Experience with mercury cleanups also teaches what works and what doesn't work. It is often easier to dispose of certain items, such as upholstered furniture, carpeting, etc., rather than spend the time and effort to try and clean them, which often is not successful. An assessment of the area needs to be done by experienced professionals using air monitoring equipment and visual observations of the area. The assessment determines the nature and extent of the cleanup that is required. The cleanup begins with trying to remove as much of the remaining mercury as possible. Once all the obvious beads have been collected, then vacuuming of the area can begin. The vacuums used are specially designed for mercury cleanups with a device that captures mercury droplets and filters to capture mercury vapors. By preparing for a mercury spill at your school and familiarizing yourself with the many local, state, and federal agencies available to help you, you will be able to minimize students and staff exposure to mercury and potential harm to their health. 